This program brought to you in part by the Erica Lewis Endowment Fund. Coming up next, it's Spring Valley and Silverado. This is Varsity Quiz. Hi, and welcome to the 54th season of Varsity Quiz, where the best and the brightest high school students match wits in this unique academic competition. Here we are at the first of two semifinals. Let's go ahead and meet our players, starting with Spring Valley, who won a tiebreaker with Sierra Vista to get here today. Their starters are, there's Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hello. There's Dylan. Hey, Dylan. Hello. There's Roxanne. Hi, Roxanne. Hi. And there's Christina. Ladies and gentlemen, Spring Valley. And the coach for Spring Valley, Lisa Keith. Now to Silverado. They were undefeated in their division, and their starters are Hattie. Hi, Hattie. Hi. There's Danny. Hi, Danny. Hi. There's Nate. I'm watching you. And Naomi. Ladies and gentlemen, Silverado. And the coach for Silverado, Nick Pavlidis. Students, are you ready? Let's play Varsity Quiz. What's the name for the smaller member of a pair of loudspeakers? It emphasizes high frequencies, but should not be mistaken for an app of limited characters with a similar name? Silverado, Danny. A tweeter. It is. You are correct. Points on the board for Silverado. Next question. Ecologically speaking, what's the name for any plant that is the first to colonize a damaged ecosystem? Now that's Silverado, Danny. A secondary successor? No. Spring Valley, Daniel? Primary successor? No, it is a pioneer plant. No points. Next question. Germany's allies for the duration of World War I were Austria-Hungary, Bulgaria, and... Silverado, Nate. The Ottoman Empire. That is correct. Next question. According to Bernoulli's principle, the pressure of a moving fluid increases as what decreases? Silverado, Danny. The distance between the objects. No. Uh, Spring Valley, Roxanne. Density. No, we're looking for the speed of the fluid. Next question is a calculation question. Peter is 12 years older than Maria. Five years ago, the sum of their ages was 38. How old is each now? Time, we were looking for Peter, age 40, Maria, age 18, but you knew that. Next question, in the 21st century, these war crimes occurred in which country? The Hula Massacre, Ghouta Chemical Attack, Duma Market Massacre, and the Siege of Aleppo. Silverado, Nate. Syria. Yes, next question. Which American poet penned this line? I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree in his lyric work entitled Trees. Uh, Spring Valley, Daniel. Albert Frost. Incorrect. A Silverado, Danny. Whitman. No, it's Joyce Kilmer. You should read that. It's a great poem. So, uh, next question. Gala, legally empowered to witness and certify the validity of documents by signing them and placing her stamp on the face of the document, which two-word title describes Gala's legal status. Uh, we're looking for notary public. Someday you might need one. Next question. Please spell the 10-letter adjective that describes blood that's gone through the lungs and is heading back out to the body. Well, we're looking for the word oxygenated. Nobody gave it a stab, so we move on. Which U.S. president used the term great society on... Uh, that is Silverado, Danny. Lyndon B. Johnson. Yes. From Greek mythology, what did Daedalus construct for King Minos to contain the Minot... Uh, Silverado, Nate? The labyrinth. Yes. Next question. What's the only letter that does not appear in the periodic table of the elements? Silverado, Danny. Q. Nope. 
Uh, Spring Valley, Christina? Z. Nope, it's J. How about that? Okay, next. Beginning, you better not never tell nobody but God. This novel won the 1983 National Book Award, was later made into a movie directed by Steven Spielberg, who wrote The Color Purple. Oh, come on, readers. Alice Walker. Next question. This large, tawny feline with black rosettes may have both a luxury car and a football team named after it, but Silverado, Nate? Jaguar. Yes. Uh, founded in the 4th century BC, it was a great center of culture and trade in the Hellenistic and Roman world. Name this capital of Ptolemaic Egypt, whose landmarks included a lighthouse and a library. Uh, that's Spring Valley, Daniel. Alexandra. Yes. Next question. When Alaska and Hawaii were admitted as states, with which branch of government did the decision rest as to how the 50 stars were going to be arranged on the flag? Spring Valley, Christina? Legislative. No. Silverado, Nate? Executive. Yes. Next question is a calculation question. A car travels on the I-15 at a speed of 35.8 meters per second. What acceleration would it have if it took 5.0 seconds to come to a complete stop. I'll repeat, a car on the I-15 at a speed of 35.8 meters per second, what acceleration would it have if it took 5.0 seconds? We'll go with Silverado, Danny. 7.16 meters per second squared. Judges, I think that's, nope, that's incorrect. Anybody else? It was uh, 7.16 meters per square backwards or negative 7.16 meters per second squared. You were on the right track there, Danny. We move on to the next question. The Portuguese man of war has an unusual name for an animal. For what was it named? Spring Valley, Christina? Manatee? No. Silverado, Nate? Jellyfish? No, it was named after a type of ship, a man of war. Next question. Following the assassination of its president in 1915, President Wilson sent the U.S. Marines to which Caribbean country to restore order and stability? Silverado, Nate. Haiti. Yes. Next question. In 1935, Otto Kuhn and his family were moved to Hawaii by German intelligence to be in a position to spy for the Japanese when called upon to do so at some time in the future. So that arrangement made him what? kind of an agent. Uh, Silverado, Naomi? Undercover. No. Uh, Spring Valley, Roxanne? A secret agent? No, you're both close. We're looking for a sleeper agent. Next question. One of the morals in an Aesop fable is that, quote, things are not always what they seem. What's the last word in another Aesop moral that carries the same meaning? Appearances are often blank. Silverado, Nate. Deceiving. Yeah, they sure are, aren't they? Next question. The prepositional phrases in the following lines function as what part of speech? <clears throat> Beyond the backyard is farmland. And during a concert is when I met her. Uh, Spring Valley, Roxanne. Subject. Is no. We're looking for noun. So you're on the right track there, Roxanne. Next question. In Greek mythology, name either of the twin sons of Ares and Aphrodite for whom the Martian moons were named. Spring Valley, Daniel. Phobos. <coughs> Phobos and um, Deimos. Yes. Whew, that was close. Next question. How many teeth will an adult's mouth have assuming the removal or loss of no teeth? Spring Valley, Dylan? 32. Yes. Next question is a calculation question. What is the decimal equivalent of the hexadecimal number 2A? Well, we were looking for 42. So that wraps up the first round. But before we move on, we're going to take a moment to breathe. <sighs> you guys doing all right? 
We want to meet our players and learn a little bit more about them. We're going to start over here with Spring Valley, and we have uh, Daniel, who's a ninth grader. Hi, Daniel. Hello. Uh, so it says here you have a favorite animal. What's your favorite animal? Frogs. And why is that? Well, because they have the body to jump ratio. They're the second farthest jumping animal. Oh, and very good. Hope very you good. enjoy the frogs, Daniel. Thank you, sir. Next up is ninth grader Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Hello. Glad to have you here. So how can you be a music creator if you don't play an instrument? Well, you could go on GarageBand, make some beats, um, produce some lyrics if you can, and that's how you can make music. So Dylan, do you have the beats? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> You're working on it though? All right, keep working on it. Thanks, Dylan. Glad to have you here. Good luck on Varsity Quiz. Next is a 12th grader, Roxanne. Hi, Roxanne. Hi. Glad to have you here. Uh, tell me, it says here you do some theater production. Are you on the stage or are you behind the backstage? Uh, I'm on the stage. Uh, my theater is putting on a production of Guys and Dolls, and I play Nicely Nicely Johnson. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Good luck with that, and good luck here at Varsity Quiz. Good to have you here. Thanks, Roxanne. Uh, next is an 11th grader. It's Christina. Hi, Christina. Hi. Welcome. So what do you do as a hobby that's very relaxing for you? I love to watch TV. Um, just any type of TV show, documentaries, it just helps me calm down. Good to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our kids from Spring Valley. <laughs> All right, let's meet our players from Silverado. We start with uh, 12th grader Hattie. Hi, Hattie. Hi. Nice to have you here. So this says you have a particular NFL team whose games you never miss. Yeah, that's true. Who's that? The Green Bay Packers. How are they doing this year? Not too bad. They'll yeah. make the playoffs though. Is Aaron Rodgers going to stick around? He will. Okay. Well, good luck to the Packers and good luck to you, Hattie. Nice to have you here on Varsity Quiz. Thank you, sir. Uh, here's 12th grader. It's, um, it's Danny. Hi, Danny. Hello. So I understand that you've been involved in a sport. What sport do you participate in? Um, I've been a swimmer for four years. How's that going? It's going good. We were able to go to the state championships last year, and I hope we can do it again this year. Wow, well, that's an accomplishment right there. Do you have a particular stroke that you do? Um, I swim mostly backstroke and butterfly. Wonderful. Well, good luck with that, and good luck in varsity course. Thanks, Danny. And here's uh, Nate. Hey, Nate. What's Hi. up? Nice to see you. So I understand that you are a volunteer for an, a group in our community. Who do you volunteer for? I volunteer for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And what do, you, what do you guys do? What's, what does a volunteer for them do? We fundraise uh, money in a certain part of the year for victims of blood cancer. Okay. Hey, man, thanks for doing that, and good luck on Varsity Quiz. Uh, next up is uh, ninth grader Naomi. Hi, Naomi. Howdy. Nice to have you here. I understand you play a musical instrument. Yeah, I've been playing the cello for about four years. How's that going? It's going well. Um, I play in my high school orchestra, and I just did a solo in church. That's wonderful. Well, good luck with the uh, cello and good luck here at Varsity Quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Silverado. <laughs> and our bonus round is next. As we go into round two, the score, Silverado 45, Spring Valley 15. We do have a couple of new players for Spring Valley. Wanted to say hello to Michael. Hey, Michael. Hey. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. For Silverado, we have two new players. There's Cassie. Hi, Cassie. Hi. Nice to see you. And over on the other end, here's Darren. Hey, Darren. What's up? Nice to see you. Now, this round is timed at six minutes, and the time starts as I start this first question. In 1896, the U.S. government issued patent number 558393 for flaked cereals and the process of preparing same to a doctor from Battle Creek, Michigan. What was his last name? Silverado, Danny. Kellogg. Yes. Bonus questions now for Silverado only about inventions. First, who is credited with inventing the mercury in glass thermometer in 1714? And second, which Delaware-based chemical company received patents for inventing nylon, neoprene, Kevlar, Mylar, Lycra, and Teflon? Hit him with Kelvin. Yeah, for the first one. The second one. John, 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 John. Captain. Uh, for the first question, Lord Kelvin, and we don't have an answer for the second question. Uh, that, that's incorrect. We're looking for Daniel Fahrenheit and the E.I. DuPont Company. So no bonus points, but we move on to this question for both teams. 
in Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code? Initially, it seems that Bishop Aaron Garosa is the mastermind of the entire conspiracy, but later, readers find he's not involved in any secret activities. Apropos of a kind of fish, Aaron Garosa serves as a red what? Silverado, Nate? Herring. Yeah, that's right. So, bonus questions now for Silverado only from literature. First, in which novel by Robert Louis Stevenson is David Balfour shanghaied to prevent him from getting his rightful inheritance? And second, what would happen to the sick girl if O. Henry's last leaf fell? A hug thing from a person? Just a <laughs> She would die. Captain? Uh, no answer for the first one, and she would die for the second one. Yes, that part is correct, so you do get some bonus points. The novel is was called Kidnapped. Okay, so now this question for both teams. Which ocean comprises most of the eastern border of Greenland? Spring Valley, Dylan? The Atlantic Ocean. That's incorrect. A Silverado, Nate? The Arctic Ocean. Yes, bonus questions now for Silverado only about geography. First, which Canadian province lies on both sides of the St. Lawrence River? And second, in which state will you find the Imperial Valley? We got a 1 in 50 chance. Imperial Valley. Say Wyoming. Captain. <laughs> uh, for the first one, Quebec, and for the second one, Wyoming. Uh, uh, Quebec is correct, so you get bonus points there. The Imperial Valley is in California. So some bonus points. This question for both teams now. Name the New York fort that's now a military academy that Benedict Arnold helped capture in May of 1775 and planned to turn over to the British. Spring Valley, Dylan. Fort Independence. Incorrect. Silverado, Nate. West Point. No, it was Fort Ticonderoga. Next question is a calculation question. How much horsepower is needed to lift a 500-pound object 700 feet in one minute? Repeating, how much horsepower is needed to lift a 500-pound object 700 feet in one minute? Well, we were looking for 10.6 horsepower. We move on to the next question. Which French scientist developed the rabies vaccination? Uh, Silverado, Danny? Louis Pasteur. Yes. Bonus question is now for Silverado only about rabies. First, rabies appears in the novel Cujo, which was written by whom? And second, Tim the dog contracts rabies and must be shot by the narrator's father in which classic American novel? Captain. For the first one, Stephen King, and for the second one, Old Yeller? Uh, Stephen King is correct. The second one is To Kill a Mockingbird. So some bonus points. We move on to this question for both teams. The sculpture called the Monument to the Discoveries is located on the bank at the mouth of the Tagus River, placing it in which European country? Silverado, Nate? Portugal. Yes, bonus questions for Silverado only about art. First, which phrase, borrowed from French, indicates artists whose works are experimental, inventive, and boundary pushing? Second. In November 2017, the painting Salvatore Mundi, painted in 1500 by which Italian Renaissance artist, set a record with a sale price of 450 million at auction? How many Italian painters are there? One million. Captain. Uh, no answer for the first one, and for the second one, Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci is correct. For the first one, you needed avant-garde. So you get some bonus points. We move on to another question for both teams. Growing up to six feet long, the world's largest salamanders live in which Asian country? Silverado, Danny? Indonesia. Incorrect. Uh, Spring Valley, Daniel? Japan. Japan is correct. Bonus question is now for Spring Valley only about salamanders. First, what does bright coloration on a salamander indicate? And second, salamanders can spontaneously cast off their tails when attacked and subsequently regrow them. What names this capability? Poisonous, at least. Um, first, okay. Go ahead, Captain. <laughs> first answer, poisonous. Uh, second answer, regeneration. Uh, poisonous is correct. For the second one, we needed autonomy. 
so you get some bonus points. And apparently, we are out of time. Our speed round, coming up. Going into round three, our score, Silverado's got 90, Spring Valley with 25, but as we always say, in this speed round, anything can happen. Before we get there, though, we've got a couple of new players to say hello to. For Spring Valley, there's Andy. Hey, Andy. Hello. And David. Hello. Good luck, you guys. Uh, for Silverado, we've got a couple of new players, too. There's Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hello. Nice to see you. And Devin. Hi. You guys ready to rock? Mm-hmm. Here we go. What technique allows you to cook an egg outside of the shell while retaining an intact runny yolk? Silverado, Danny? Soft boil. Nope. Spring Valley, David? Sous vide. No, we're looking for poaching. Next question. Which B vitamin is important for pregnant women or those planning to become pregnant for its role in preventing certain birth defects? Silverado, Nate? B12. No. Spring Valley, Daniel. B6. No, it's folic acid. Next question. Which mold is added to give blue cheese those distinctive colored veins? It also provided the first antibiotic. Silverado, Nate. Penicillin. That's incorrect. It's penicillium. Close. Next question. Is a calculation question. We don't repeat them here in the third round. Provide the prime factorization for 595. We were looking for 17, 7, and 5. Next question, what term names a country house in Russia? No Russian country houses, it's a dacha. Next question, in which industry did James Buck Duke make his fortune? Spring Valley, Andy? Oil. No. Silverado, Danny? Steel. No, it was tobacco. Next question, James Bond. Famous for driving that silver Aston Martin DB5, special features. In which 1964 movie, the third of the franchise, did that car make its debut? Silverado, Nate. Goldeneye. Nope. Goldfinger. Next question. Excluding the independent municipality of Carson City, how many counties make up Nevada? Spring Valley, Dylan. Twelfth. Nope. 16. What kind of enormous German aircraft carried out the first bombings against Britain in 1915? Uh, Silverado, Nate? Zeppelin. I don't think we can take that. Nope. Uh, we're looking for dirigibles. Next question. On what day will the 22nd century begin? Who did you get in ahead of time or no? Spring Valley, Daniel. Wednesday. Uh, no. We're looking for a specific date. We're looking for January 1, 2101. It might be a Wednesday. We don't know. Okay. Next question. Which treaty drafted by Pope Alexander VI divided the lands of the Western Hemisphere between the Portuguese and the Spanish empires? Silverado, Nate. Treaty of Tordesillas. Yes. Uh, next question. Now, Sydney's got an appointment with, with an otolaryngologist. What kind of doctor will he be seeing? Spring Valley, Andy? An ENT. An ENT. No? Oh, what did you say? An ENT. Yes, ear, nose, throat specialist. So, bonus uh, points there for Spring Valley. Next question. Three presidents, all considered founding fathers, all died on the 4th of July. Can you name at least two of them? Spring Valley, Dylan? John Adams, Thomas Jefferson. Yes, and the other one, James Monroe. A calculation question here next. Again, we don't repeat them. A roast takes 24 minutes per pound to cook. So how much oven time will a five pound, 12 ounce roast require? I don't know, but it's making me hungry. It's two hours, 18 minutes. Next question, what's the lowest possible score in an American football game? Silverado, Devin? Two. Well, we actually needed something else on that, too. Uh, Spring Valley, David? Two points. No, we're looking for two to nothing. Oh. Yeah, okay, next question. Which U.S. state is nicknamed the Centennial State? Uh, Spring Valley, Daniel? Pennsylvania. No. Uh, it's Colorado. Next question. The commanding officer in the TV show MASH 
Hopefully you've seen that. He was a colonel. Well, what is the equivalent rank in the U.S. Navy? Uh, Spring Valley, Daniel. Sergeant. Nope. We're looking for captain. What island nation sits on both the Eurasian and North American plates? Silverado, Nate. Iceland. Yes, sir. Uh, what's the southernmost national capital city in the Americas? Spring Valley, Dylan. Buenos Aires. Nope. Uh, Silverado, Nate. Santiago. No, Montevideo, Uruguay. Next question is a calculation question. What's the slope of any line parallel to the line 8x plus 9y equals 3? Uh, Silverado, Danny. Negative 8 ninths. Yes. Simulcast blends which two words? Silverado, Nate. Simultaneous casting. Incorrect. It's simultaneous and broadcast are the two words. Now we're out of time. Let's find out who won. Our final score, Spring Valley with 35 points to Silverado's 105. Let's give it up for both of these teams. An excellent match. And congratulations to Silverado, because Silverado will be facing the winner of next week's, ma next week's match. That's going to be Bonanza and Valley. We hope you'll tune in for another exciting night of Varsity Quiz right here on Vegas PBS. <laughs>